Hey guys, it's James here. The wonderful Craig Peters from SoundIron recently created and released a full-fledged guitar sample library for metal music, Ex Machina, and gave me a copy in exchange for this review. Knowing his incredible work as a guitarist, I was quite intrigued by this library, and I wonder how it would compare to the other two popular metal uh, guitar sample libraries in the market, namely Stratish 3 Hydra by Impact Soundworks and Odin 2 by Solemn Tones. So in this video, I will show you a metal demo I created with Ex Machina. Do a very in-depth comparison on the strengths and weaknesses of Ex Machina versus the other two libraries. And at the end, share my thoughts on Ex Machina. If you want to pick it up, you can get a 5% discount using the code on the screen, and I'll make a small commission out of it. But this absolutely won't stop me from being honest and unbiased, meaning I will discuss both its pros and cons Cons. Without further ado, here's the metal demo created using Ex Machina. So, how did you like the guitars in the demo? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I thought Axe Machina sounded really awesome, natural, and punchy in the mix. For the most part, the guitars don't sound programmed to me. There are some kinks, uh, which I will talk more about later in the video, but to be honest, if I heard this and didn't know it was created entirely using a guitar sample library, I probably wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have any idea. Now, let's compare how Shredded Hydra and Odin 2 sound in the same demo. With the exact same MSIM settings, with just minor EQ adjustments so they uh, sit well in the mix. They both sound pretty awesome as well, but right off the bat, Stratish Hydra and Odin overall sound much less punchy, though their uh, mid-range is more prominent. 
As a whole, I definitely prefer Ex Machina in this demo. But the devil is in the details, so let's do a close analysis and comparison on the guitars created with these three guitar libraries. I painstakingly wrote the demo in a way that would utilize many articulations and include many common guitar passages found in modern metal music so you can really hear how these uh, guitar libraries differ from each other in different scenarios. There's a lot to unpack here, and please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with my analyses as you watch. The demo opens with a pretty fast chromatic riff that consists mostly of two very low notes adjacent to each other. The reason why I wanted to test this is that I noticed with Shredded Hydra, when you play two very low adjacent notes very fast one after another, they sort of just blend together and you can't really tell which note is which. Take a listen. Even the G-sharp notes here are not very distinct. Now let's take a listen to Odin. It's better, but every now and then the notes still kind of blend it together. And here's Ex Machina. You can hear that it's a lot better. The differences among the low notes are very apparent and they don't just blend together, especially when those G sharp notes uh, were played. My guess is that while sampling for Shredded Hydra and Odin 2, the respective creators try to get that really aggressive pick attack tone that's very popular in certain metal subgenres, and as a result, some of the samples are just slightly out of tune. Granted, the uh, aggressive picking ends up sounding really awesome in a low uh, in a slower riff later in the demo, but it's certainly not good in this riff. The next set of riffs are a lot more dynamic compared to the intro riff, and they test single notes palm mute, uh, power chord palm mutes, power chord sustain, fast guitar licks, and of course, very importantly, uh, the transition between all those articulations. Let's take a listen to each of the library in solo. Quite a big difference there. My overall favorite goes to Ex Machina here, simply because as a whole passage, it sounds the most natural to me. It's like I can almost see a guitarist recording this. I particularly like how Ex Machina handles the transitions between different articulations. Take this bar for example. The guitars sound punchy and dynamic. The sustain of the lower power chords G sharp and F sharp sound really full and rounded, while the higher power chords F sharp over here sounds nice and bright. The single note palm mutes between the chords sound very natural and tight. They also have a really punchy low end. Shredded Hydra actually sounds pretty decent too, but it lacks the dy dynamic feel that Ex Machina has at least in this specific riff. The single note palm mutes also don't sound as tight or full. I find that if I try to get more tightness by lowering the note velocities in Shredded Hydra, they do sound tighter, except they sound more and more like a choke rather than palm mutes. This is what I'm talking about. And if I try to get more low end from them by increasing the note velocities, they don't sound tight enough. And at very high velocities, they become almost indistinguishable from uh, power core sustains. I like Odin 2 the least for this riff. You can hear that the single note palm mutes don't sound as tight and distinct as the other two libraries. And because Odin 2 doesn't have power chord samples, I had to artificially create the chords by inputting the individual notes. The results just don't sound as good as Ex Machina and Shredded Hydra, where the creators actually sampled power chords. The one thing that Ex Machina pales in this guitar passage compared to the other two is the open low notes. Although I criticize the slightly out of tune uh, low notes in Shredded Hydra and Odin due to aggressive picking, that gnarly tone really shines in the low F notes in this passage. 
Those low notes really sound awesome when a string is picked really hard. I also noticed that the fast guitar licks sound just a bit on the synthetic side with Ex Machina. I think it might be because I'm not hearing a lot of pick attack. The next section is a breakdown and tests power chord palm mutes or chugs as many metal guitarists call it and hides register uh, dissonant chords. Both are very common in modern metal music. Let's hear the three libraries. <laughs> To me, Ex Machina easily takes the cake here. The chugs from Ex Machina clearly have the most punch, bite, and tightness of all three. These are qualities I'm looking for in chugging. In comparison, the chugs from Shredded Hydra just don't have enough low end punch for me. For this particular section, I like Odin the least. Due to its lack of power chords upon use samples, the chugs just don't sound as good in general. They also have the same issues as uh, Shredder's Hydra, where the chugs sound a bit weak. When it comes to the dissonant chords, I think they all sound good. But I especially find Ex Machina to sound the best in this kind of riffs, where it alternates between chugs and dissonant chords in the higher register. The goal is usually to create a stark contrast between them. And to me, Ex Machina does the best job at achieving that goal here, because its dissonant chords sound nice and bright effectively contrasting with its deep, full-sounding chugs. Moving on to the next section. This is a very fast riff with all sustained notes and no palm mutes. <laughs> It's usually very challenging for guitar sample libraries to make uh, riffs like this to sound real due to the rapid transitions between the low root note and the higher melodic notes. I'm definitely not liking how Ex Machina sounds here, but let's take a listen to Shredder Hydra and Odin. <laughs> To me, the clear winner is Odin. It just sounds the most natural and realistic. The higher melodic notes sound especially like they're from a real uh, guitar recording. Both Act Machina and Shredder Hydra sound a bit synthetic in comparison, especially the latter. I can't really pinpoint what the issue is exactly, but I believe it has something to do with the fact that the root notes and the higher notes don't sound like they're coming from the same performance. I try my best to tweak them, but I could never get Ex Machina uh, or Shredder Hydra to sound as good as Odin in this section. The next section here is a variation of the last one. <laughs> As you can hear, the F root notes are now palm muted, which makes the riff even more challenging for guitar sample libraries. Just like the breakdown section I analyzed earlier, Ex Machina's palm mutes are freaking awesome. The tightness and low end energy are off the charts. You can really hear the difference uh, between the palm mute upstrokes and downstrokes too, which makes the palm mutes super realistic sounding. However, I find the transition between the palm mute and the melodic notes to be uh, a bit too abrupt, and as a result, the riff sounds a bit programmed. I'm also bummed out that there's no articulation for a portamental, aka note slide, because these adjacent notes uh, would sound a lot better using portamental. Now let's take a listen to Shredder and Odin. <laughs> Of 
all three, I think Shredder has the edge here in terms of sounding realistic and natural. While I still think that Ex Machina's palm mutes sound much better, Shredder Hydra's transition is the most natural sounding. And the fact that you can do portamental for uh, these notes here just makes uh, the whole passage so much more realistic sounding. The portamental articulation is especially awesome for uh, power chord slides at the end of this passage. I like Odin the least for this passage. While the transitions are fine, I feel that the palm mutes sound a bit unnatural. It almost sounds like there's just a bit too much of a space at the beginning of each note sample. All right, moving on. The next section here is purely strumming. Both Shredditch and Ex Machina have a strumming mode, while Odin does not. To my ears, they all sound good and they don't sound programmed. Though I do feel like Odin sounds just a bit more realistic. It's like I can hear there's a bit more sample variation in the strumming. Odin's lack of strumming mode doesn't make it sound inferior compared to the other two either. Though it definitely makes it uh, less convenient to program in and tweak the strumming. Ex Machina stands out among the bunch for its much brighter tone. I especially like that I can he really hear the highest notes in the chords. Let's turn our attention to the solo now. It's not a complicated solo, but I did include some vibrato and some fast sweeping. I think there's no competition here. Shredder's Hydra really blows the other two out of the water. The fact that he has an entire separate set of samples for the neck pickup makes it much more suitable for solos and leads compared to Ex Machina and Odin, which only have samples for, I assume, the bridge pickup. Just take a listen to how much difference there is between the bridge samples and the neck samples in Shredder's Hydra. <laughs> As you can hear, the neck pickup is really a godsend. And I really wished Craig sampled the neck pickup too, especially given his custom Kizo Ares guitar and Guitar Murray pickups. I feel like the neck pickup of his guitar would have probably sounded amazing for solos. Shredded Hydra is also the only library of the three that has vibrato samples. Ax Machina does have a vibrato knob, but according to the manual, is simulated, which I assume means it's done via pitch bend. To be honest with you, it doesn't really work that well, unfortunately. If I push the knob to 100%, the vibrato sounds kind of out of tune for some reason. Odin just straight up doesn't have any vibrato options, so I had to create it using the pitch CC automation, which was quite a bit of a hassle. I definitely appreciate the uh, vibrato samples in Shredder's Hydra because they really sound much better than simulated ones. Here's a quick comparison. <laughs> We're now at the last section of the demo, with another breakdown testing power chord palm mute, but this one focuses on bursts, with the occasional open root note mix in, a little bit like Gen style. <laughs> Thank you. 
X Machina's power chord power mutes sound the best to me as usual, though I wish there was an articulation for a more open palm mute, because as you can hear with uh, Shredder Hydra, I wanted to make those longer palm mutes more open to uh, create accents throughout the breakdown. Odin also sounds decent, but it's my least favorite. It sounds similar to Shredder Hydra, except I feel like Odin has a little bit less oomph to it. I'm also not a fan of the string noises. I understand they're supposed to make it sound more realistic, but there should be at least an option to turn them off because I would not want them in an actual mix. The aggressive picking in Stratage Hydra really pays off in this breakdown. Those three sustained gentle notes sound amazing with that I picked it so hard that it goes slightly out of tune tone. Odin also sounds pretty awesome for this, just a bit less aggressive, and as a result, more in tune. Ax Machina really pales in this regard. Those sustained notes just sound quite weak in contrast to the insane sounding chugs. It would have been perfect if Ax Machina has a gent articulation specifically for the low string, where the string is picked with excessive force for scenarios like this. At the end of the day though, I prefer Ax Machina as always in tune samples over uh, Shredder Hydra and Odin. Last but not least, let's take a look at the lead. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, just like the solo, Shredder Hydra takes the cake here with the neck pickup samples. They just make the lead tone so smooth, warm, and creamy. It's just hard to beat the tone you get from neck pickup for solos and leads. Ax Machina and Odin both sound quite good, no complaints there, aside from the overly bright timbre. Hopefully, through this in-depth analytic comparison, it's clear to you that none of them is perfect. They all have their strengths and weaknesses, but some do offer more overall than others. And most importantly, you can make them all sound realistic for the most part. I believe the demo and comparison prove that Ex Machina is certainly a respectable guitar sample library. To me, it's overall a better library than Odin. It just has more uh, articulations, more controls, and uh, more playing modes, making the library more versatile. But it certainly doesn't beat Odin if you're primarily uh, looking for the gent style guitar tone uh, with the aggressive picking. Shredded Hydra has even more articulations, more controls, and more playing modes than Ex Machina, but the tuning is inferior. So are the chugs. Hydra's tuning issue might not be a problem for everyone, but for those who write metal riffs involving a lot of uh, low notes, that could very well be a deal breaker. One thing that Ax Machina really stands out from the other two is the tone of the DI samples. While Shredded Hydra and Odin sound rather similar, Ax Machina sounds much deeper and punchier on the lower strings and brighter on the higher ones. Now this might or might not be the tone you're after, but it certainly sets it apart from the other two, and it makes riffs that combine chugs and chords very dynamic sounding. Before I talk about their prices, I wanted to quickly mention this video's sponsor, Clean My Mac X. As a professional audio engineer, I've always had issues with keeping my computer free of clutter. I've had uh, tried a variety of similar apps out there, but none work as well as Clean My Mac for me. I use it to clean up useless system files, get a visual sense of what files are taking up the most storage uh, space, update and uninstall apps, and so on. I find the app really useful as an all-in-one maintenance tool. It's currently 30% off for Black Friday, and I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Let's talk about the prices of these three libraries. Ax Machina costs 99 bucks, while Shredded Hydra costs 149 bucks, and Odin 189.99 cents. Shredded Hydra's price makes sense because it has more articulation, a more sophisticated engine, and samples for two pickups, but I struggle to see how Odin would be worth an extra $50 over Hydra when Odin is much less versatile and offers much less in general. Perhaps the extra cost is for 
a standalone plugin, but Shredder Hydra can be used uh, in the free contact player. Odin certainly isn't worth 90 bucks over X Machina either for similar reasons in my opinion, though you do need the full contact version to use the latter. Perhaps you would be paying for Odin's uh, specialization in specific metal styles, like how I said uh, Odin sounded absolutely killer in one of their riffs in the demo. And you know what? That's totally fair. If that's what you're looking for, then it's probably worth your money. But right now, X Machina is on sale for $49, and if you use my discount code, you can knock another 5% off the price. For $46, you're certainly getting a lot of your money there. All right, that's it for the video. It's a bit long, but hopefully you'll find it informational and helpful. I wanted to uh, thank Craig again for giving me his library to review. Subscribe if you want to see more in-depth review like this, and I'll see you next time.